morning. My name's Bob Walters. I'm the director of the Science Barge for Groundwork Hudson Valley. You know, welcome to the Science Barge. It's a floating urban farm on the Hudson River. The neat thing about the greenhouse is it's a total hydroponic greenhouse with growing vegetables and water hydroponically. We go from seed to harvest in six weeks. So it's a pretty amazing place. This is one of our baby plants. So the plants are actually grown in basalt. It's a type of rock. And the great thing about rodan or rock wool is that it holds, it holds water. This is our nutrient film system. This is the work force of the barge. So with the nutrient film system, the water comes up the top. The water has nutrients in it. We have these, if you look at the cube here, that was the Rockwell cube that we had on the table before. The roots have grown out. We have these wonderful white, healthy roots that are in the system. And the important thing about everything on the barge is we're teaching about recycling hydroponics, that we're using the same water over and over again. So when we talk about urban farming using hydroponics, you know, we teach about this system uses only 25% of the water of traditional agriculture. If you wanted to make one of these systems yourself, you can make it out of simple PVC pipes with two inch holes. Uh, you'd make a rack with an incline so that the water would flow down into the, the reservoir. You could use a regular vinyl gutter uh, to collect the water. Then it goes down this black pipe into the reservoir. And then there's the aquarium pump down the bottom that pumps it back up to the top of the system. Okay, this is the Science Barge log book. And we use this every day. Because we monitor the amount of nutrients in the tanks, we monitor what we call the electrical conductivity and the pH. So we adjust the EC, as we call it, in the different tanks. We have different parameters for different type plants. We do use nutrients that we custom mix ourselves. So we can't claim the barge is organic, but we're using basic nutrients, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, that we mix into four gallons of water. And that's what we use to add to the water. So we have those three wonderful things, sunlight, water, and nutrients to make the plants grow. Okay. The system we're going to look at now is what they call an ebb and flow system. It's a tray. This is a four by eight foot tray. And in this system, we're using different types of substrates on the science barge. So these clay pellets are called hydratons or agricultural pellets. And plants are smart. They know where the water is, their roots uh, follow the, the water in the, in the clay pellets. It's a healthy looking system, it works. We're incorporating fish into the system. It's an aquaponic system, so the waste from the fish are actually incorporated as part of the nutrients from the, the tray. And the tray of agricultural pellets actually works as a part of a filter for the, the tank. So we're growing thyme and chives, sage, lavender, different types of arugula and Swiss chard. And there goes my phone. And this is an American hydroponic system. It's called a beta bucket system. You have the buckets down there. And again, you could do this at home. Uh, we're using the Rockwell cubes. We're incorporating the hydratons, the clay pellets. And this system gets watered every two hours for two minutes the water comes on and the nutrients. All these plants started out in a Rockwell cube. I call it the miracle of the seed, which I think to me a seed is magic. But this little system here is a great system to talk about plants and water. This is a little bit 
bit different system. It's called deep water hydroponics where you actually have the plant roots sitting in water. And the way the system works, hydroponics, people always ask the question, how can you grow a plant in water? But there's a simple air pump over here that's adding oxygen to the water. Again, you got these beautiful white roots that are going down into the water and they're taking the water that they need and the nutrients that they need. And then, then of course, the sunlight. I'm kind of a blue collar guy and I love inexpensive systems that can grow food without major investments. And that's part of what we teach on the barge, how to make it work. The science barge was the vision of Dr. Ted Kaplow. He was a young man that had the vision of making a hydroponic farm to teach about growing vegetables in the city. So he built it on a barge to simulate a rooftop. But the idea of the hydroponic greenhouses being powered by sustainable energy, whether it's solar, wind, or biodiesel, and that this closed loop system works. We have no electricity from the shore and no water. We literally teach thousands and thousands of school children and adults about urban farming using hydroponics. They come because they want to learn about this system that only uses 25% of the water. In a water-starved world, hydroponics could be part of the answer. In the end, what we're trying to teach on the science board in Yonkers is people can be sustainable. They can grow their own food in the city using hydroponics.